Hi, for the Global Healthy Living Foundation, I'm Seth Ginsberg, and I'm joined today by my friend and colleague, Alan Todd. Hi, Hi Alan. Hi. Alan is responsible for patient education and advocacy with the Global Healthy Living Foundation, and we're really excited to be talking today all about biosimilars and what that means. And um, well, Alan, I, th I think first we'll we'll ask, what is a biosimilar? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Seth. It's yeah. um, it can be a complicated subject. Um, maybe I'll back up a little bit and talk about biologic medications that are very important to patients like ours. Um, biologic me medications are made from living cell lines. Um, so they are not like your regular chemical compound medication. They are they're made in a lab in a petri dish from living cells. Um, th these, these are medications that are very important for patients. The biosimilars are um, new medications that are not quite on the market yet, but are be that are in process, they're, they're before the FDA, um, they're creating a pathway for those biosimilars to come to market and they could have a real impact on the lives of, of patients because you know biosimilars could in theory give us cheaper medications that are just as effective and just as good for patients um, but you know it, that that's still to be seen because none have hit the market yet. Great so biologic medicines what we're talking about here are you know the things we inject or that's get right. infused uh, Drugs like Embril or Remicade or Rituxan or you know whatever else there there are dozens of them out Absolutely. there, and they treat what kind of diseases? A variety of diseases. They treat um, rheumatoid arthritis. They treat um, they treat psoriasis. They treat various um, forms of of inflammatory diseases. Very various forms of chronic disease. Lots of cancer drugs okay. are are biologic medications as well. Sure. Wow. So. Here we are kind of on the eve of what's coming, which are these biosimilar medications, which are effectively the follow-on to the first medicine, but brought to market quicker and cheaper in theory. Yes. Um, will they be as safe as the original? Um, we hope so. You know, the FDA is going to put stringent um, safety precautions and safety measures in place. Um, so, so they should be they should be just as safe. But the thing about biosimilars and the things that we don't know yet, Seth, is because they are created from living cells. We don't know exactly how they will behave once they are injected into our bodies. We don't know if our bodies will have a different immune response to some of these biosimilars as they do to the regular innovator biologic medication. Got it. So, unlike a generic small molecule where ibuprofen is ibuprofen, this is a whole different game. That's exactly right. That's exactly right because they're very sensitive. These types of medications are very sensitive. These types of processes that you have to go through to create these med medications, they can be changed dramatically by the environment. They can be changed dramatically by one small change in the process that's used to create these medications. Got it. So where are we today and what are we trying to do for tomorrow? <laughs> well. Today we are, um, you know, the FDA has created the pathway. The FDA has issued some draft guidance on how these um, these medications can come to market, but they're not they're not there yet. So basically, we are now out there trying to protect patients to be sure that um, you know work hard to recruit patients to be sure that they are able to get the medications that they deserve and that they know what medications are that they are taking. I think Got that's it. an important important step in the process. So there's still a lot that remains to be done around things like transparency or reporting or record keeping Absolutely. of these drugs in the future. Now just quickly, uh, help us understand how are these different rules governed? It's at the state level. That's absolutely right. You know, the, the FDA has the authority to create the pathway for the drugs to come to market, but when you're talking about the dispensing of the drugs, that's governed in the more or less in the states through um, state pharmacy laws. Got it. Um, so you know that's regulated by state state legislatures and through like the state pharmacy acts in, in different states and it's different state by state. And there's a program and there there's a way for people to get involved. Tell us about that. That's exactly right Seth. We, we need patients to get involved. We, we want patients to join the movement. It's called Healthy Biologics. They can join us at healthybiologics.org. Um, 
you know, and what we're creating there is a community for patients to learn more about these, these medications and then to use their voice and to use their stories to interact with their state legislature so they can change their laws to best protect patients and make sure that they have access to, to medications and know what medications they are taking. Got it. So there you have it. <clears throat> Here we are at the Global Healthy Living Foundation tackling issues as complicated as biosimilars but doing it in a, in a real way and doing it in a human way and healthy biologics as, as you've articulated and hopefully folks at home have now seen is an opportunity to get involved and getting involved means what specifically? Yeah, well, we need you to get involved. We need people to come onto the website, share, you know, you can do a, a, a variety of things, things as simple as just sharing your story with us. Log on to the website, there's a place under stories where, where patients can just submit their story about what type of disease that they're dealing with and that they're managing, the types of medication and the biologic that they're taking and what that means to them and how that's made them feel over the years. We also want people to use that voice to really interact with state legislatures. You know, everything from writing letters to the editor to testifying in front of the state house or the state senate. That's cool. Yeah, you know, so there's, lot, there's a variety of activities. We, we want people to do whatever they're comfortable doing, but we want their voice captured on healthybiologics.org so we can use that voice to protect patients. And there you have it. So we really are, I mean, very optimistic here, obviously. Yeah, and. Uh, we need your help and if you're watching this you have a story to share and it might be with your family or community but hopefully it's with the larger audience and the elected officials and the public for them to understand how meaningful this issue is to us as a community and uh, we're here for you and Absolutely. Alan I want to thank you and and uh, thank you, we look sir. forward to all the the important work that you'll be doing and we together in the states around the country and uh, you know it's just the beginning of a very long and very important fight that we'll, we'll fight Absolutely. so cool for the global healthy living foundation i'm seth ginsburg and thanks again to alan todd for uh, telling us more about healthy biologics and we look forward to hearing from you and and to working together to ensure patient safety